Hevenu shalom alechem. In the native language of my Lord and Savior Yahshua HaMashiach, the one in English we call Jesus Christ. The world sleeps just like sheep, peaceful in a pillow padded with lies. I'm praying daily, but the world's got even intellectual thinkers mesmerized. My people starve for revival, but in God's words they stray away instead of seek. In about four seconds, by the grace of God, I will begin to teach. You are now watching The Conservative Racer. Remember, the race is not over until Christ returns. Matthew 7, 18 A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit, neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Simply put, God says that we can judge a tree by the fruit it bears. So when I find the world offering me solutions to my problems, I have to ask myself, what kind of world am I living in? Are they out for my best interests, or should I lean on God instead? A while back, a believer in Christ shared with me about a prophetic vision that God might bring us an antidote for the cure. Imagine that. The cure itself in need of an antidote. Let's entitle this An Antidote for the Cure. Imagine for a minute a so-called cure so safe you have to be threatened to take it. For a disease so deadly but you have to be tested to know you have it before you submit. The Hegelian Dialectic, a wicked tool used by rulers of this world based on problems which direct our reaction, which they have the solution. Leaving entire populations in a fearful state of confusion, ignoring God's revelation, they slumber into delusion. Free of will, they abandon all rights of our constitution. People instead lean on a worldly Luciferian institution. My prayers go out to you for a righteous conclusion. I'm asking God for revival, and I'm praying he provides us with hope. And there on the horizon, I find doctors' whispers, talks of antidotes. Imagine a jab so safe, but they have to give you money, donuts, gifts to protect your own fate. But later you find the cure needs its own cure. But still unto God, you lean not, relying on worldly allure, clinging to hope that's so unsure, but still you endure. The one and only solution is Jesus, Yahshua HaMashiach, the Savior. God's Word versus the World. Please continue to join me in this series of poems that I dedicate to my Lord and Savior Yahshua HaMashiach, the man called Jesus Christ. People, time is wasting. Get familiar. <laughs>